Um, so, I don't know, uh, Jonathan, do you want to speak to that? Well, you know, I think there are a number of things that raise tremendous concern in an election. Just answer my question, though. What proof do you have that those 75,000 ballots are blank? And what specific examples do you have of voting irregularities? There is no way to determine. We have, we think, compelling circumstantial evidence that machinery that is unreliable and archaic, machinery that has been outlawed in several states because of its unreliability is operative here. There is no question the federal government through the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security has confirmed that we have had an unprecedented level of cyber attack and cyber intrusion. There have been cyber attacks on the voting systems in Arizona and Illinois. Voting files were seized. 20 other states were the victims of other attempts to intrude and hack this election. The Democratic National Headquarters was intruded. The email of John Podesta was intruded. There is, we have assembled the world's leading experts in computer security and computer science, and they are unanimous. I'm answering your question if you'll let me finish. They have, they have determined that it is indisputable that this machinery is vulnerable, that there is circumstantial evidence, and it is highly plausible that an intrusion has occurred. And the only way to check is to verify. And the verification process is something contemplated by our democracy. We are not engaged in a crazy, radical, undemocratic process. We are taking advantage of the mechanisms in every state that are supposed to allow us to explore when the most important election in this country could have been compromised. So anyone who's opposed to this and the person who owns that building behind us is involved in an anti-verification campaign, in a let's sweep it under the rug campaign, in a let's hide it. And we are not going to surrender to that because the essence of a democracy is grounded in the vote, in, in, the, in the awareness that every vote counts. Votes matter. We have mechanisms to ensure it. We have checks and balances throughout this system. When people go to a tennis game, they spend $45 to make sure that when the ball is called in and it might be out, we should take a look at it to see if it's actually in or out. And guess what? Sometimes it's out. And so what, what I think many people think, the 150,000 people have decided that it's worth 45 bucks to make sure that our democracy is functioning. I think the democracy is probably as important as a tennis match. So you want to recount each vote in Next. those three states? We want to recount all the paper ballots. The, the experts, the world-class experts that we have assembled are unanimous that the only way to verify this and make sure that our democracy is functioning and not dysfunctional is to count the ballots. What is the Pennsylvania judge specifically asking you? What's the judge's asking for? I'm sorry. I sorry. What is the judge asking for right now in Pennsylvania that seems absurd? Oh. Getting the recount, getting the they, 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 they are requiring a series. It's a Byzantine, labyrinthine effort. Everybody, I think, has experienced in our lifetimes that bureaucracies and governments and municipalities can make our life very difficult, if not impossible, when we're trying to do the easiest thing. The history of poll tax in this country is a history of barriers and impediments designed to keep people from vindicating their rights. And what we have in Pennsylvania, unfortunately, what we've discovered is a system with our, where all sorts of barriers have been imposed to keep people from exercising their right to insist on a discount. And that's why we're going into federal court in the same way we went into Michigan and Wisconsin and hoping that the federal courts will seize their obligation and do what the courts, the federal courts have done in Wisconsin and Michigan and make sure that we have the ability to do the simple thing of verifying the vote.
questions, compress? Just compress? Thank you.